Brexit is no longer politician scaremongering or a fictitious pipe dream. Our worst nightmare now looks like a reality. This is my first appearance on the plate since Brexit. I want to be as direct as I possibly can. Every one of my recruitment businesses is suffering. Decisions have been put on hold and some of the recruitment freezes are now in place. Business already is feeling the consequences of Brexit. And I want to spell it out again. The pound is a 31-year low. The UK's credit rating has been downgraded. Profit warnings from well-known companies. The culprits of Brexit have run away with their tails between their legs. But the country and the businesses that keep it running can't. And there's already evidence that people that voted out have changed their minds. We need to accept that we made a mistake. And if the answer is a second referendum or a general election, then so be it. James, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Um, I'm speaking to some of my friends who own manufacturing businesses and already their CTPs, a critical time paths, are selling um, spring, summer 17 and all of their orders have been put on hold because everyone is scared. Everyone is saying, well, wait until we see how things settle down. Retail is a nightmare at the moment as well. And I just think the uncertainty, I think that does not make people feel comfortable. So I couldn't agree with you more. And that's why the, the last debate, um, your, your debate, Rachel, I know that you're all saying we don't need another referendum, but I do yeah. believe because of all the lies and because people were led up the garden path, I do believe that we have to revisit and we have to take another vote. I well, don't like referendums, full stop, but I think we all have to take another vote. you know, Michelle, vote. your point goes to Nick's point. So Nick's saying, but people in Sheffield, people in Leicester... Nick, let me tell you, people in those parts of the country oh, are, are going to start feeling what's going on. Because it. when they lose their jobs, when they say that, you know, the foreigners are taking our jobs, but nobody's hiring anymore, yeah. all of a sudden mm -hmm. you're going to see an outcry yeah. from all over the... This is not a London issue. It's not. You know, the catastrophe that we're about to face is a national crisis.